Former Kiambu Governor William Kabogo seems to have joined forces with Eric Omondi as he demands President William Ruto to put an end to the Kenya Power and Lighting Company's monopoly on the power industry. According to Kabogo, the move would bring more players into the market, effectively putting an end to the long-standing issues of power outages and overpriced electricity tokens. In a tweet that has since gone viral, Kabogo urged the president to open up the power industry to competition, stating that Time to end KPLC monopoly, William Ruto. Open up the industry for competition. Many companies will deliver power to the people at less than half the current price of KPLC. And I know you are aware, Kabogo pleaded. Now the call for increased competition comes at a time where Kenyans are struggling with high power prices and unreliable supply. Many have been forced to pay more for electricity tokens but are not getting their money's worth. Na ukiangalia kile ambacho William Kabogo anakisema, hiji ni kitu ambacho Eric Omondi amekuwa akikipigania kwa muda mrefu. Akidai kwamba uchumi umeharibika na pia hali ya uh, maisha inaendelea kupanda. And talking about power electricity and all that, uh, right now you can imagine when you spend 2000 Kenyan shillings to get your power tokens, you get half of the amount of money you've spent. Like for instance, I normally buy power electricity worth 2000 Kenyan shillings every month. But ukiangalia okay, right now instead of me get, getting the usual 72 units that I used to get last year, right now I'm getting around 30 to 31 units. You can imagine it has been slashed by a half of it. So, and you can also go to Twitter Wangalia kile ambacho kimekuwa kikiendelea this is an issue that is disturbing many Kenyans and a section of Kenyans have also tried tagging the economical advice of President William Ruto David D Now, kumbuka very well around last week President Ruto's economical advisor David D threw a spanner in the works by revealing that Kenyans would have to choose between costly power available 24/7 or cheap power available a few hours a day He went on to say that the manifesto did not feature cheap power as a pledge on electricity, meaning that there were no intentions of passing cost benefits to consumer. Akiandika pala alisema hivi, on power bills we have two, ch two choices, costly power is available 24-7 or cheap power is available a few hours a day like South Africa. If you cared to pursue our manifesto, you would have noted that the cheap power does not feature in our pledges on electricity, David D said. If you sasa tumebaki tu without <laughs> yeah, so you could handle aje. Anyway, what are your thoughts? Do you believe that it is high time that President William Ruto allows uh, more uh, stakeholders who are in the power industry now as to the monopoly that has been kept by KPLC for decades and years? You can leave your thoughts in the comment section. That is it for now. Thanks for watching. Let's meet next time. Bye bye.